Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here. So I'm going to make the pink flamingo pendant like I did in the live stream, but I'll use the fuchsia wire. It's 20 gauge wire. So to do that, we just want to do the outline of the flamingo. So I'm going to take the 20 gauge wire and bend it up at a right angle. And I'm not going to make the eye because we're going to put a spiral instead. So I'm going to bring this one down and then I'm going to form the beak. So we're just going to bring that one down here and then I want to bend it back with the flat pliers and just give it a little pinch and then we're just going to take this one, take the round pliers, bring it around and then just form the head but make it quite round so we'll have room for a spiral and then we're going to bring this one around and again, I'll put the templates, a link to the templates in the description. For now, I'll just trace pretty well what I did on the live stream. And we're going to bring this one around. And then we want to form like a little bit of a belly. So we're going to take this, bring it around. And I want to just do a loop so I can dangle the legs. So we're going to make a little bit of a loop. And we're going to bring this one up to finish the belly and then we're going to take this and just bring it down to form the tail so this one's going to come down like that and then we want to bend it up so we're going to decide how long we want the tail to be and just bend it towards the front and then we're going to bring this one around and start to curve it around to form the wing but what we want it to do is we want to make it a little more spirally. So I'm going to take this, bring it around and just see, first of all, if that's in a good position, you can make it a little bit longer if you want. So we're going to bring it around here. And then once we're happy with the position, then we're going to bring this one down and then we want to bend it to the front. So decide where you want that end to be bend it to the front, give it a pinch, bring it around, and then form the loop again. Now if this is too big, you could use your looping pliers or the end of a pen, bring it around, so that's made a nice little loop. Bring this one up here, use the round pliers, just curve that one down a bit. And then now, again, we'll get the squeeze your nose pliers, bend it to the front again, and then we could probably manage one more in there. So we're just going to bring it around with our finger, use the round pliers just to form it around. It's going to be quite a bit smaller. And then pinch it a bit down. So for the last time we'll get our needle nose pliers and just bend it to the front. It's going to go around to here. This is actually going to end up being the front because this is coming to the back. We'll just get our round pliers and bend it up. See how it looks here. And then we're just going to bend it around. So we'll just hold that one in place. And we're just going to wind it all the way around. Hold it tightly. If you need to pinch it a little bit, just use your flat pliers to pinch it in and then this is going to come down to form the spiral but before that we'll just clip this and form the loop so we're just going to clip that to 3 8 to half an inch and then we'll get our round pliers and then we're just going to bend that back and around to close the loop flatten a bit and then here we want to form a spiral so we're just going to take this and I'm going to work from the end in. I usually use a cone to make the spiral, but it's a little hard to access. So I'm going to cut this to about a little over an inch. I can always trim it after. Clip it flush. Use my round pliers and flip it upside down. I'll get, grab the end and I'm just going to carefully bring it in. So I have the little inside of the spiral and then I'm just going to slowly work my way in. Flip this one around, just slowly like flick of the wrist, just rotate, rotate it around and you can always get your flat pliers and just bring it in 
just be careful with this wire I see I've already nicked it a little bit but if you just go slowly you'll be able to get it so there's our spiral and then we just need the legs so for the legs you can use smaller bugle beads if you have some this is the brooch I made on the live stream I'll link up the replay in the description below. So these are one inch bugle beads. If you can find some half inch ones, it would work. These are little uh, bead caps and also little beads for the knees. But I'm just going to do them with black wire just to make it easy. And so what I'm going to do for this, I'm going to do it with one piece of wire like I did in the live stream. So I'm going to leave a couple inches here, just bend it back and I will do like a little circle. Turn this one around and cut these to about the same size. I guess you'll need about six to eight inches all together. Trim that one. And then take the flamingo and just stick this in the loop that's there. This wire is very soft. I would advise using a stiffer wire. So we're gonna bring this one in and then just bend that one down so they're both sticking down and then I'm just going to hold this in place and then this one gets bent back and this one straight down. Just decide how long you want the legs and then we're going to do a just a very simple spiral base and so what I want to do here is I'm just going to like I'll measure it on my pliers so I have an idea and then I'm going to bend that one back and then I'll do the same on this side. I'll just measure. You can get a ruler if you need and I'm just going to bend it back. So now we have where we're going to start the foot part. From there I'll do the, the cone method I have of making spirals in, which is I just hold it on a cone and bring it around a couple of times. So we're just going to do that. And then this one too. We're just going to hold it here and bring it around a couple of times. This is actually my preferred way to make spirals. So we have those and then we'll just clip the end and this one too we're going to clip the end and then we'll get our round pliers to pull in the spiral. So just grab the end with your round pliers gently, flick of the wrist, bring it in to close that circle and then you slowly bring it in and push it and that makes a perfect spiral. And then this way too, we're just going to take the end, bring it in, make sure that little loop is closed, push it in, flick of the wrist, and then we're just going to, same thing, push it down. And then to make sure it holds flat, just pinch it down with your flat pliers. So now we have to bend the legs. So at the halfway point, if you have a ruler, go for it. And we're just going to take this halfway point and just bend it over. So we're just going to bring it over here, bend it, close that up, push that one over a little bit if you have to, bend this across. And there you have your super funky flamingo. His legs are a little big but he's super fun. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out our work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to submit your email, I will send you my free Wire Art Essentials ebook. So, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.